After traveling for two and a half years full time in RV, it finally happened to us. Rodents. Yeah, and we have had stink bugs and flies and ants and even moss, but mice? And at first we thought, okay, one or two. How many did we catch in the end? And how are we going to keep this from happening again in the future? Stick around. Okay, so our second night at this beautiful campground in South Dakota, our first time here at Angostura State Recreation Area. We're sitting around watching a movie. It's kind of our nightly thing. And I hear this <laughs> sound in the RV. And, and I was like, I don't hear anything. He doesn't hear anything. That's how it always <laughs> is. So we go and get up and look and I'm like, ah, there is a mouse. So, we could I actually panic. saw the mouse. It was yeah. like really bold. It was just sitting there looking at us. Yeah. And I the mean, flashlight right on it. Yeah, he didn't care at all. So I, of course, freaked out. One actually, I saw his tail in our silverware drawer. And Larry's like, oh, he can only walk on the edges of it. And I was like, no, I'm washing it all. I had no idea that she was freaked out about mice. I, stuff. So I guess we out. never, we had rats in our attic at our house, yeah, but we, we never had it. mice. And in I, the kitchen. This is the kitchen. I basically. guess I was surprised how how afraid of mice she was. <sighs> but okay, <laughs> so I decided we had this piece of foam board, and I knew they were coming like in and out of the pantry, underneath the pantry, because there's a big gap, and it goes straight to the basement. Right. So I put this foam board, and I took I recycled plastic bags. So I shoved all these plastic bags there, and then I shoved all these plastic bags. Um, in this other gap that goes straight to the basement. That's, they call it the coffee counter cabinet. Yeah, we have these two ventilation uh, duct areas basically yeah. that ventilate the living room to the basement. I guess it's something part of the design. But I didn't care. I stuffed it because I, I was trying to block them from getting it's in It's like and out. really easy access for mice to get in and out. Yes. And then you set up the game cam. Yeah, so that before I went to bed that night, I said, you know what, let me set up the game cam approximately where you know, they were kind of going in and out. And I thought, maybe I'll catch a clip or two of them overnight because it has infrared and all that kind of stuff. When I got up the next morning and I looked at the video, I had 20 clips <laughs> of mice in and out, in yeah. and out, back and forth. I couldn't believe how much mouse activity we had in one night. And we and, thought it was one mouse, but yeah. it was at least a couple of mice. We were arguing other, it, uh, is that the same mouse or is one bigger than the other one? And I said, the one I saw in the silverware drawer had a big old fat yeah. tail. He's like, no, it's a tiny mouse. So yeah, so that's that was the beginning of our adventure. So we got up the next morning after I reviewed the game cam video and I realized what kind of a problem we had. And I said, we have to figure out three things. First of all, we got to keep them from getting into the RV. We got to figure out how they're getting in. We got to keep them from getting from the basement into the living room. Mm -hmm. And then we've got to trap the mice that we've got and we got to get rid of them. So luckily um, there's an Ace Hardware in Hot Springs that's really close. So Larry was off to get traps, steel wool, like mouse deterrent foam, and um, the special screen, because we talked about how the biggest holes, openings, <laughs> were uh, for ventilation. So Larry's like, okay, we can't block the ventilation, so let's put some screening in. Yeah, those holes needed to be blocked. So I went to that, this Ace Hardware, and the guy was really good. You know, the good thing about Ace is they kind of walk you around and they take you everything you need. But I was surprised at the mouse, anti-mouse supplies that they had there. They've obviously got a problem in this area because I've never seen a hardware store that had so much anti-mouse contraptions. I mean, lots of different traps. So I picked up traps, the foam, the screen, the steel wool. I mean, I spent about $80 in crap to get rid of it's our, not crap I, if it I, works i did want to go a little overboard i think no 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 <laughs> no because as you're going to find out he went back out and got more traps yes that's right a lot more traps <laughs> so the first thing we had to do was find out how they were getting in the rv and we really just were guessing at this but we went and looked at the slides and we found a corner of the slide and i went outside 
pulled the, the flapping back and put my flashlight in there and owls could see it. Yeah. It was just an easy access for the mice. And we saw in the video, they were coming in from that slide. So that's where we figured they were coming out. That was basically the pantry door was here and it, it's the fridge is here. So it's the fridge slide in that bottom corner. Right in the corner. And you know, it's really hard to protect a slide when, when they manufacture it from mouse intrusion. Yeah. So what we did is I took a bunch of the steel wool that I got from the hardware store. Now this is just the, the kind of steel wool that you use for finishing furniture mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You don't want soap or anything on it. And I got a very coarse style and I stuffed a couple of packs of that steel wool into that hole to block the access to the mice getting into the RV. And that's where how I really think that they were getting in. And yes, we know we will pull out the steel wool before we pack up and leave. <laughs> yeah, I hope we remember. Secondly, uh, you can tell by our game cam footage that the little guys were going in and out underneath the pantry door. In fact, you could tell he kind of was kind of trying to climb up that little foam board that I put in there. So he really, I mean, he was determined. So we're like, oh, this is it. This has got to be a really obvious spot. So we crawl into the basement. Larry takes out that wall so he can see. And there's like, how big is it? Like, it's like this big a hole yeah. that is inside the basement going towards like straight in to underneath the pantry into the kitchen. There's absolutely nothing to stop the mice from going from the basement into the kitchen. So we had to fix that. So what I did is I got some of this quarter inch by quarter inch galvanized uh, metal screening and stapled and screwed it uh, to the bottom uh, in, in the backside, in the basement side, so that there was no way for them to get into the kitchen. Now, the other one is right under the electronic uh, panel, the yeah. AC panel. There's another uh, a, you know, smaller area for them to get through, so I had to block that one up too. Yeah. I didn't want to completely block them because I know that you're supposed to have ventilation between the basement and the, and the living room, um, so we had to do this fix with the quarter inch uh, galvanized screen instead. But it was very difficult. Anyone that's ever worked in their basement and like in back in between and trying to use power tools. So it was it was difficult, but we think it's worth it. And you'll have to tell us what you think. Yeah, it was kind of a pain to get behind the water heater, especially it was really tough. And then doing that behind the electronic panel, I had to pull out my whole AC panel, stick it in the hole and then take the chance of getting electrocuted while I was doing it. But in the end, it worked out perfect. Now, another main area was the kitchen island because remember I told you I saw that like big one in our utensil drawer and I could hear them in the kitchen island. So that's where we, we shoved some traps underneath there and we that's where we caught the most. So that means they were in there in the kitchen island. I pulled the little plate off the front of the dishwasher. Yes, we have a dishwasher. And uh, I, I stuck it under like inside the dishwasher because I didn't want the dog to be able to get to it. Right, so it's right. a safe place to put the traps. And I knew the mice were going in and out of there. So um, depending on, you know, what RV you have, but there was this wood, wood panel <laughs> that was blocking the plumbing for the sink in the kitchen island. And Larry pulls that out and he sees that there's no foam or anything where the, the plumbing goes in down and that's straight into like the under right. of the so RV. Right, so the plumbing goes into the subfloor. Subfloor. And then all the plumbing and everything, the electrical wiring all moves into the subfloor mm -hmm. so that the mice had a freeway but through mm -hmm. the subfloor mm -hmm. right into the kitchen island. So I used the, the mouse foam. It's a, it's a, like a, a great, like a, like the foam you would normally use at the hardware store, yeah. but this one's got most deterrent in it. Yeah. Supposedly if they eat it, they die. Um, and that it blocked up that hole completely so they couldn't use that as a freeway to our kitchen island. But that wasn't it. <laughs> there was another little gap that I had always noticed that on the other side of the kitchen island, it goes, you could like see our carpet right through. So they could actually come in and out from that section too. So we had to put another one of those little wire pieces um, on that little gap in the kitchen island. So the kitchen island now we feel is secure. So I went to Ace Hardware and I picked up some traps. I got your basic old school mouse trap. This is the new version that has a little plastic thing instead of the metal thing. It's a little easier to set and supposedly it does a better job um, trapping the mice, but this obviously kills them, okay? Now we got the 
the no-kill humane, humane mousetrap, but unfortunately, it doesn't really catch anything. So where we caught mice, as we said before, we caught the most in the Kitchen Islands. So we think that once we close up the holes, we trapped them inside the RV, and mostly we caught them under the dishwasher in that Kitchen Island. But even after we stopped catching them inside the RV, we did catch a few in the basement. But as far as Mr. Humane, what happened is when it was inside the RV, my terrier dog, the ratter, came over and licked it. No mouse went inside it. So we put it outside and you can tell there's chew marks, something like carried away. And the only thing we actually caught <laughs> ants. are ants. So <laughs> goodbye. So what was the grand total of mice caught? Mouse hunt. We, just, we actually watched that movie because, you know, we figured let's laugh about our situation and thank goodness it wasn't as bad as in Mouse Hunt. You have to see that movie. So what was the total? Seven. Seven. So, so far. So f No, we haven't had any for a couple of days. Yeah, we've been good for a few so days. So we're like, eee! Yes. So the first night we set out the traps, we're watching a movie again. Were we watching Mouse Hunt? No, that was the first night. We were, I don't know what we were We were watching Mouse Hunt yet. So we're watching a movie and we hear... Snap! snap. Right under the dishwasher. It's like four feet from us. Couldn't miss it. Yeah. So we... So I stop, pause the movie. I get up, I get a flashlight. I look under the dishwasher. And sure enough, that little sucker got so snapped. So he dealt with that. He put a new trap. We go back to our movie. Yeah, so we put one more trap under the dishwasher. Yeah. And then we have a trap in the basement. Yep. Yeah and we go to bed. Go to bed. And then the next morning, another one caught under the dishwasher. Right, another one under the dishwasher and another one in the basement. So, so we're thinking. Okay, it's not just two. <laughs> it's more than two. We got three in the first night. So now he's gotta go back to the store and he's gotta go buy more mouse Yeah, because I only bought four traps to begin with. Because we thought we only had two. Well, I really thought that, that, uh, that one that's like humane is supposed, was gonna work. But anyway, so I've got a whole bunch of the a whole bunch of packs of these babies. And right we've here. got we've got more because we we just in case. So why didn't we use other methods to catch the mice? Well, I had posted on social media first this little video. She was on social media like crazy with this, by the way. She, whenever she we have a problem in the RV, she goes to social media and like said, like, help me out here. And it People? was great. It was great. We got so much stuff. Yes, we got lots of help. Now I first posted this video of this, this mouse because I thought it was cute. I thought it was one mouse, you know, and we got lots of suggestions. Someone said something about some of the, the aroma type deterrents, but we're not really good with strong. We don't do smells. We, we don't, don't do, do smells. strong, or yeah, any kind of smell. And then someone else mentioned uh, sticky paper, but there was this uh, sticky paper incident when we had a house where a lizard got caught and I felt so bad I just I couldn't do it again yeah it's like what do you do with the lizard he's alive I on there so and we had like yeah you know, you're gonna kill him yeah. same thing with a mouse yeah. but you gotta, you'd have to kill him yeah I don't want to do that and then there's baits baits which you definitely don't want to do baits because then they die and then crawl somewhere into your RV where you can't get them and then you get a stinky mess so you definitely want to be able to take any dead mouse out of the RV when you're done with it but someone did mention there's a kind that dehydrates them so they don't smell. But I don't know if I want I a, a, think, like a yeah. mummy mouse in my house. <laughs> Desiccated mice. I like that. <laughs> well, thanks for watching our mouse hunt video. Have you used one of these little suckers right here to trap some mice and kill the mice in your RV? We want to hear your mouse hunt story in your RV. And as always, you can leave comments, questions on our Instagram and Facebook. Now, I'm also going to leave a link to a video right over here for some more stuff for you to check out next. And if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see more of it, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the link right down here. And remember, downsizing still makes sense.